it's uh, nice to end on a win before we break uh, for Christmas holiday here. We'll have to give our guys about three and a half days off and get back at it. But um, uh, I thought our players played well enough to win the game tonight offensively, and I thought our defense was, was pretty good in the second half. So uh, we're, we're excited to start Pac-12 uh, January 1st. Yeah, it's been a point of emphasis for us the entire season to share the basketball and, and to do that you need floor spacing as you said I thought our uh, wings ran in transition our bigs uh, did a nice job of getting down the floor and then we when we moved the ball and reversed into half court uh, the spacing was there to make some plays yeah I was happy to see our perimeter players shoot uh, good percentages. I think Elijah and Caton both had six threes made. Uh, I thought Jordan McLaughlin did a terrific job of managing the game and getting the ball to the right, right place at the right time. And set the school record with 16 assists in one game. Uh, to do that, you know, first of all, you have to make the right play, and then secondly, you need teammates to make shots. Well, he was a typical freshman last year, as as they all were. We're, we were the youngest team in the country in the Power Five conferences, and, and we uh, uh, we played young last year, meaning our decision making, our bodies, and, and some of our skill sets. Uh, so last year, Jordan Jordan couldn't do this, uh, but he's improved as a player. Uh, and, and to his credit, he's missed two off seasons now because of surgeries, and he had double shoulder surgery after. Uh, the season last year. So for him to miss eight, eight or nine months and then break his nose, if you remember, he was playing great basketball before he broke his nose in, in the first half of the Xavier game. And uh, he broke his nose, and then the mask really affected him. It affected our whole team. Uh, so now he's back to, to uh, we hope, playing like he's um, uh, capable of. And, and tonight he was spectacular. Well, I think our defense has, has been very good at times. Uh, we, we had a few weaknesses we cleaned up in the beginning of the season t t until now, so, so we've done a good job of making adjustments. Uh, we, we, still, uh, we still go through stretches where we don't follow, the, follow necessarily the game plan, meaning we'll leave open shooters or, or uh, we'll get hurt inside or offensive rebounding, but uh, they're trying, they're getting better. Uh, we're holding teams under. 38% from the field on the year so far, and, and which is good. We're top five in the nation in block shots, uh, so there are a lot of a lot of positives to our to our defense. But at the same time, we're, we we have a long way to go. We we know that we're a, it's a work in progress. And but when you do defend and we get deflections and steals and blocks, we 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 can get out and run. And, and I think you saw that in the second half when, when our defense did perform at, at the level we'd like it to. We, we were able to get out in transition and make some threes and get some dunks. What changes when Elijah? Well, he's he's a he's a good basketball player, and he needs to affect the game on both ends of the court. And when he's doing that, uh, he's as good as anyone anyone uh, we have on our team. Uh, he just needs to be consistent and, and bring that effort and, and that confidence every night. And, and uh, uh, he, he did. Uh, I thought he he tonight he he's pl he played as well as I've seen him in, in a while, uh, and we would like that to continue. How do you get him to play with that confidence? Well, it's not, I don't think it's really something a coach can do. It's it's uh, in, it's something a player has to has to bring to the table. Uh, he uh, uh, we, we give him try to give him all the confidence in the world, and and, uh, and 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 he started every game I think except one, and he plays big minutes, and, and uh, uh, he, he's a good basketball player. Uh, we, we we count on him. We have confidence in him, and we, and we rely on him. So uh, he knows uh, there's no wavering on our part. Uh, uh, he, but he's a typical, typical player. You're not going to play great every game, and, and uh, he went through a little dry spell with, with his shooting. But uh, he's back now. You know you're much better than the last couple seasons. Do you wish now that you played a tougher home schedule and get more answers before conference play? 
I think our strength of schedule is about 50th in the nation. Our RPI is, is uh, I think, 28 in the nation. And, and that has to do with straight, the, the rec posing team's records. Uh, so uh, I'm comfortable with, with our preseason. I thought we played some challenging teams. Uh, I think we have three top 50 RPI wins. And, uh, well, we did. I'm not sure if those teams are still in the top 50, but uh, we, we, we've also played the number one RPI team, Xavier, on a neutral court. So, so I think we've had some challenging games. Uh, Yale was predicted to win the Ivy League, and, and, uh, and they came here. And, and so uh, when, when you make a schedule, you, you try to challenge your team. And, and at the same time, uh, uh, the, the, the Pac-12 is the number one RPI league in the country right now. And we play Arizona twice, UCLA twice, Oregon twice, Oregon State twice, Arizona State twice. <laughs> Uh, not to mention Utah and Cal and Wash and uh, <coughs> Stanford and, and Washington State. So uh, we, we play a lot of, with a lot of good teams coming up. Uh, and, and at the end of the year, you're going to see our stre uh, strength of schedule be uh, very, very high on a national scale. But we did that uh, out of necessity tonight because Benny Boatwright is injured and, and so is Julian Jacobs. And then Malik Marchetti, who's our back backup point guard slash uh, do-it-all for us, he was sick. He, he came in about an hour before the game and, and he tried to play. I give him credit because he, he was in bad shape, but, but he tried to play. We played him for two minutes and he just didn't have it. So now we're stuck with three guards on our roster uh, and uh, they had to play the whole game. Well, I understand that, but but our bench has been very good for us this year. When we have the full roster and and uh, yeah, a couple guys played okay off the bench tonight. They didn't have their best games, but they 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 still did some nice things. And we, we they've had really good games. For, like Darian Clark's been super for us lately uh, off the bench, rebounding the ball, defending, uh, and, and so yeah, he, he missed a couple shots tonight, but he still had great energy and. We rely on him, and Malik Martin, the same thing. He's, he's, he's had some very good games for us tonight. Um, you know, he missed a couple easy shots tonight, but he, he gave us great energy. And so those guys, uh, we, 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 uh, we need them to perform once the uh, Pac-12 starts, as, as we do our starters. And, again, what, what has to be different from going on the road this year as compared to you know, what's happened the last couple of seasons? Yeah, we struggled on the road, uh, uh, but I think uh, we're, we're a – more confident team, a better basketball team, and, and, and as I just mentioned, the Pac-12, the, the, this is going to be a challenging schedule for, for the entire league, uh, and the home court advantage means a lot in our league because it's so deep, uh, and we understand we have to be prepared to, to go compete at a high level, and uh, that'll be something we'll address uh, this coming week because we play five of our first seven on the road in the league. This is college basketball, so it's, it's, they need to figure it out. I mean, <laughs> this is uh, everyone has to go on the road, and, and uh, uh, we need to go compete. Do you expect to have Julian and Benny when you start on the And we hope so. Uh, I don't. I don't like to play players unless they're 100 percent and ready to go. I, I don't like them to. Uh, re-injure or, or uh, come back too soon. So we'll evaluate that when we get back from break and do a day-to-day. -day. Thank you.